unveiling video for my uh, 3D printable cello that I've got here. Um, some of you may have been following this project in the uh, little spot forums or in Reddit or some of the other places I've posted it. And it's uh, pretty much complete at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up here, play it a little bit for you, and then uh, give you some of the te technical details about it, uh, various different things, how it's put together, what you know, what makes it take, give you a tour of all the features, things like that afterwards. Uh, one caveat with this video, I don't actually know how to play a cello properly, um, and despite uh, several months of uh, searching here for people to actually come play it, uh, putting ads on Craigslist and music forums and everything, offering to pay people, unfortunately no one took me up on the offer, so uh, you're stuck with me. Well, with that being said, uh, here we go. Anyways, um, standard cello, standard layout, it's got standard fingerboard, cello bow, and everything, and this is what it sounds like unamplified to start with. So as you can see, it's uh, you know fairly quiet at that, but it's loud enough you can definitely hear it to practice, things like that. Um, but if you want to play it in an instrument setting, that's where we have the uh, amplifier and the actual preamp on here. So I've got a little Fender 10G uh, Frontiersman, uh, I think it's a 35 watt amp, so it's not particularly huge. So we're going to fire that up, and hopefully this is actually on. Yes, it is. So here's what it sounds like now with the preamp active. And this is about with the uh, preamp volume up about 75%. So, you know, we've got that. We can adjust things like the, uh, the bass and the treble back here. So the sliders don't really do a whole lot. So that was adjusting the bass control with it up and down, doesn't really do anything. You do have a bit of volume control here. So you can adjust that while you're playing and everything. But most everything is going to be on the amp or the mixer anyways. So let me go ahead and power this off here. So unfortunately I don't actually know how to play any songs except for possibly part of the uh, Jaws theme, which I'm pretty sure no one actually wants to hear right now. So let's just go ahead and go into what we've got on this cello here. Um, it's all 3D printed except for the uh, wooden plastic pieces. My intent here was to make something that someone could 3D print at home, fit standard off-the-shelf uh, cello pieces to, and pretty much customize a workable, usable instrument for whatever needs they wanted. Um, so it's, uh, you might notice it has a uh, bass pin instead of a cello pin on there. I kind of ended up with the wrong one. It's got uh, a model for the correct one on there if anybody wants to print this later on. Um, it's got a you know standard saddle made of ebony glued in here, standard tailpiece with uh, fine tuners. I had the bridge fitted by a luthier, and it's got the, uh, the uh, pickup right here, which is probably not technically the right pickup, but it was a very inexpensive pickup. And then it's got a um, fingerboard, standard ebony fingerboard at the proper angle and everything so it's quite playable at this point and it's got bass guitar tuners actually up here on the top uh, mainly because I didn't want to screw with actually trying to fit a uh, you know uh, actual cello end pin on there uh, because those are notoriously difficult to fit properly if you have no idea what you're doing and as it comes, turns out I have no idea what I'm doing other than you know putting this thing together so on the back side here we've got an armrest and you may have noticed we've got the uh, leg spacers uh, that position your legs properly which to where the actual uh, cello would be. This thing pops off, it's padded, it's got some neoprene on it. And then back here you can see the uh, preamp controls. There's a headphones jack uh, over here if you want to just listen to it amp directly without the, uh, any of that to practice with. Volume controls on off button to save the battery. And then further down on the bottom we actually have the jack for the uh, quarter inch jack here. This kind of goes right in there. And it does actually go back in, believe it or not. And then we have a battery compartment for a 9 volt battery down here for the preamp. And then that just pops out like that. And just pops back in. So the actual um, design itself is mostly solid. It's got a truss rod that goes through the whole body. And then there's a second truss rod that actually goes up under the neck, under the fingerboard, up into the head here. The middle section is actually hollow. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but there's actually two uh, slots underneath the um, 
the resonance chamber here underneath the bridge. And the bridge itself is sitting on this resonance chamber that is hollow. It's got a bass bar and a sound post exactly where they should be. Um, and it's, it sounds pretty good. I had the bridge fitted by an actual uh, luthier, so it's uh, set up properly. The angles are most of the way, if not all the way, fixed. The, they're really easy to adjust. I can put shims in there, tilt that back, whatever it needs to do. And then if I need more uh, strength at the end, I can always just glue that and make it a permanent fit. Kind of like having it adjustable a little bit. Uh, the armrest on here is, you know, just approximately approximating the top of the normal cello. So you've got your, you know, arm positioning. You can actually tell where everything is. It's got a finger loop. Uh, the paint job is just kind of a rattle can, metallic, chrome, duple color um, system. And it turned out okay. I've got a little bit of overspray. This stuff is really runny if it ever goes on there. So it, it oversprays in like a heartbeat. And I ran out, so I haven't actually repainted it yet. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And the plan for this right now is to, first of all, learn how to play cello with it, which is the main reason I put it together. Uh, but also, um, I want to actually sell the parts for this online. So the whole thing, I'm going to put it on, up on one of the uh, various 3D printer part repositories, probably for, you know, $5 for the whole thing, something around there. I haven't quite worked all out, that out yet. But fairly inexpensive to try and, you know, drive some uh, business to it. And hopefully the intent is to use this project to uh, fund some of my open source 3D printer upgrade parts for the TAS and other printers in specific, like the uh, conveyor belt uh, project and things I'm working on right now. Um, so this is a little bit of departure from my you know pure open source design release philosophy, but I'm also trying to make some money to fund the other projects. So I, I think it's, you know, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, if anybody has any questions or wants to say anything more about this, I'd be happy to answer any questions in the, either the comments or go on and email me. Um, I go by Pierce T in most of the forums, as you probably know already. Um, so thanks for watching.